real quick. Be sure to take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com where you'll get access to the full tutorial, but you'll also get project downloads. By working along with the video, you'll greatly accelerate your learning. So enjoy your video and we'll see you at woodproacademy.com. Let's customize Bluebeam to make up make our markups like super super uh, detailed here. Uh, eventually, over time, you're going to want to learn how to do this for yourself. You're going to be making your own custom data points and toolbars and everything. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. Uh, but for today, uh, let's just import the ones that I've created for you already. So open up your markups list. We're going to create some custom data points here go to manage columns okay you're going to click over to custom columns choose import and wherever you saved your files open up this xml file called wpa counter takeoff data points just open that up okay now I have some custom data points. Now, Bluebeam provides lots of tools for us, but we're not going to use every tool all at the same time, right? So I want to go through here and kind of turn off some of the stuff that we don't need right at this moment. And this is going to now see look these three these custom columns we want all three of those on Click OK now you see it changed it changed the columns that are showing now you can turn this on and off one at a time right here but going to manage columns and doing it through uh, this this uh, dialog box here uh, is the easiest way so make sure your columns you freeze the picture here and look at my column. Make sure your columns match my columns. And when you're ready, we're going to, I'm, I'm expanding the tool chest here a little bit. You can see this is what, what comes to fall on the estimating tool chest. And we're going to, we're going to import some custom tools. So go to Manage Tool Sets, choose Import, go to wherever your files are saved, open up the kitchen tops and the vanities. Turn off everything except your new tools. You can even reorganize them so they're at the top okay now they're in icon view or symbol view I'm going to change this to detailed view that way I can I can see the subject and I know exactly what the tool is for um, if I have a color code system and I've learned it and memorized it, that's fine. Symbol view might be better. I can close that a little bit and now I'm ready to start measuring and marking up. We hope you benefited from that quick tutorial. Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. And if you haven't already, be sure to go to woodproacademy.com, sign up where you can get access to this full tutorial and many more. Plus, you'll get the project downloads.